Hello everyone, this is Vlad from 360 Avionics and in today's video I would like to talk a little bit about one of the new features which I recently added to 360 Avionics FS products. And that feature is about the safety. It depends on uh, how and where you fly, but quite often you want to have your position information available for review for someone on the ground or for someone live while, uh, I mean, live while you're flying, or even after your flight, you want to review where he was flying, how he was flying. Also, it's very important to know the health of your engine. Engine, we rely on engines, right? And despite airplanes uh, still can fly without the engine, it's probably not very far. So, uh, about a year ago, maybe a little bit earlier than that, I uh, found an interesting product, which is called uh, Starlink Mini. It's a compact, small satellite internet dish, which you can connect to your uh, ship's power, like airplane power, 12 volt, and have obviously high speed internet while flying. I know that after uh, some time after release, they have changed a little bit the rules, and now you cannot use it. Actually, you are limited to use it below 100 miles per hour or you have to use the uh, more expensive um, plan but today we're not talking about plans and the, st and, um, uh, the way how you want to get it we talk about the internet access in flight so basically what internet access in flight it gives the ability to communicate with the ground with the ground station with servers the feature which I added to FS ELM 1000 and FS ELM 800 is called telemetry. What this feature does? Basically, first of all, every predefined period of time, it can be 5 seconds, 25 seconds, 5 minutes, it will send the signal to the ground server through the internet with all information about the airplane, including current position, including current engine and all sensors data. So basically imagine if someone is sitting on the ground in the same cabin like you and sees everything what you see while you're flying. Well, isn't it cool? What I did is actually I equipped my airplane, my RV-10, with uh, the Starlink mini dish. I installed it in my airplane and uh, made a power connections, connected to my FSS through the Ethernet. It can be also connected through Wi-Fi, it doesn't matter. And now I'm able to communicate while in flight. I added a feature to my FS to send that telemetry data. And finally, I made a well, I'm bad web designer. <laughs> I'm not, it's not my uh, specialization, but I made some sort of a website which allows you to review the data. So just register and review the data. And you can watch for the current position, track engine data you can even offload engine data while you're on the ground like after you return from your flight you can click a button offload your all engine and um, engine health information and review it after and by the way yes i know there are some um, great services online like savvy aviation offers which allows you to review the flight information and i our um, ELM 800 and ELM 1000 engine monitors uh, supported by Savvy Aviation, so you can upload data there too for review. But, well, I made something local. So, who may have an advantage of this product? Well, likely some flight schools, for example, who use experimentals to fly. Why? Because uh, their AMO or um, team responsible for the maintenance of the airplanes uh, they may review each airplane data without actually going to the airplane and uh, checking the logbooks for the flights duration. They can do it, everything from one place. Just review that from the server and say, okay, this airplane oil time is coming. This airplane needs something else to replace, like all that information. Or for example, abnormal temperatures in flight after reviewing you can see, oh, this airplane had some issues with probably cylinder heads or uh, stacking valve or something. Also, when uh, for flight school, it can be interesting because uh, they can watch their students in exact position. 
Also, when you fly your airplane, you're not a flight school, but you're flying your airplane, you're going over the mountains, over the Rockies, for example, and uh, you want your family, your relatives, your friends to know your exact position. And uh, obviously that ADS-B will not work in that area, likely there is no uh, ground stations there, but you still can be visible, you still can communicate. And I plan to expand those features, add more options to communicate, but right now what you can do is you can send live position, engine, all sensors information, you can send uh, screenshots from your FS display, and there will be more. But it's all about safety. And uh, while doing that, I was focused on the fact that since there is an option to communicate in the air using such, in my opinion, great product as a Starlink Mini, why not? I know that there are some limitations on the speed, fly, how fast you can fly versus what plan you can get. And I doubt Elon Musk will ever watch this video, but I hope that Starlink at some point will realize that capping regular standard plans 200 miles per hour is, well, I don't know why they made it. I mean, I would just cap it to 200 miles per hour or 100 50 miles per hour. And finally, if you don't have a Starlink in your airplane, it's all fine. You can just use a Wi-Fi dongle. And if you fly not that high and your phone still has a cellular connectivity and obviously the, uh, the internet connectivity, you still can send the data instead of using the Starlink channel, you can send the data using the Wi-Fi channel. Well, I hope you like that. I hope this feature is something interesting. For you, I just need to find some talented and um, good uh, web designer who can help me to make a nice and professional web design for uh, this product and um, I guess it's gonna be useful for you. See you next time. Take care. Bye.